When starting with accounting software, you would have incurred costs prior to starting your accounting software, such as company setup costs or other preliminary expenses. Zero does not automatically take up the historical transactions in the bank account, so you will have to import them into your account. I'll show you how to here. Hey guys, welcome to another how to do video series. My name is Sean and today I'll be showing you how to import a bank statement into Xero. In our previous how to do video series, I showed you how to set up a Xero file. Upon setting up Xero file, you would have reached this stage and seen this homepage right here. If you did not watch that video, you probably would not have created a bank account yet. It's all right. You can still create a bank account if you are at this stage by clicking accounting, bank accounts, add bank account, and you would choose your business bank account. Make sure you have started and created a separate business bank account for your business or your company. Upon doing so, click on which bank you are with. And some banks will require you to log in to the bank account and connect the bank account directly. And some banks will require you to put in the account number and the BSB number and fill in a form to connect the bank feeds. Once you connected the bank feeds, you only are able to receive transactions moving forward. You aren't able to import transactions from the past. If you want to import transactions from the past, you would need to download your bank statement. So this is how the bank statement will look like. There'll be the date, there'll be the transaction amount, there'll be the description, and there'll be the bank balance. Generally, bank statements would look different for different banks, and uh, in this case, uh, but in most cases, there'll be the date, the transaction amount, the descriptions, and the bank balances. And these are your most important fields, okay? So the first thing you need to think about is when are you importing the bank statements from? So for example, if you're an existing business, and you transfer from QuickBooks into Zero, and now you're just importing the file. You've completed the financial year 2021 accounts in QuickBooks. So what's going to happen is that you do not need to import the transactions that occur before the 30th of June 2021 into Zero because you've already lodged the tax returns previously. So you only need to import the bank transactions after 1st July 2021 if you already launched your financial year 2021 returns. That's it. If that's the case, then you have to delete the transactions prior to your conversion date. So I'm going to right click and just right click this. So as you can see, I'm just deleting the transactions before 30th June 2021, and it starts from the 2nd July. 2021. One thing to note is if you are doing this, try to keep uh, this amount somewhere because this is going to be your conversion amount. So I'm just going to copy this and I'm going to paste this in another Excel file. And I'm going to delete all the amounts before 30th June 2021. Okay, I'm going to save it. I'm going to call it this and go back into the zero file. Now for businesses that are completely new, that has not launched any financial tax returns before, you'll need to import every single transaction from the commencement of your bank account. That is if you have not launched a tax return before. So you do not need to delete any transactions as I have done so previously. So now to import the bank statement into zero, click on the three dots, click on import a statement and you click browse, choose the file. And I know this is import uh, two, which is what I just saved just now. And I click import. And so once I've done that, you can see that it shows the column 
um, line amounts and, and the drug description and the uh, balance. So you can see that zero is smart enough to categorize this as transaction date and this as transaction amount. But if zero was not smart enough in your case, make sure to choose it by clicking on the drop down button and click on transaction amount. Okay, this one is the description or the reference. So I'm going to click on reference and this is the balance and you do not need to import the balance into zero. They should reconcile with each other after you've done your imports. So I click save and you can see 501 statement lines were imported zero the duplicates. So you can see here the statement balance is 2669.07. And if you refer to the, the imported statement, you can see that the statement balance is actually actually different. And why is that? It's because we have deleted lines before this for, for financial year 2021. And so we actually have to input the conversion balance so that the statement lines can be the same as the bank statements in zero and it can reconcile with the bank statements here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to zero, click on accounting, click on advanced, click on conversion balances. And remember the amount that we just ch chucked aside just now, I'm going to grab the amount to 198.77 and I am going to put it as the business transaction amount. Okay, now if I go back to dashboard, I'll be able to see that the statement balance is 4867.84. Let's double check that with the bank balance. Spot on. So the bank balance says it's 4867.84. Uh, the zero account also say that the statement balance is 4867.84. And that's how you know that your statement balance is correct in zero. There are occasions where you did not remember to copy this number. And if you forgot to copy this number, you can actually manually calculate it. So how you do that is by taking this minus this equals to this. And then you, this is the conversion balance, all right? Cool. I hope that this was informative for you. And once again, for businesses that are brand new uh, on, or never launched a tax return before, you just import all the amounts um, into zero and all the transactions into zero. And your statement balance should reconcile with your bank statement and zero file. You do not need to delete or do any calculations as I have done in this file. All right. Thank you. Hope you enjoyed.